Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, back with another video, and in today's video, we have some absolutely amazing plush edits that were made for me. Now, all of these edits were made by the Advanced, he's, uh, he's a, like, great friend, and honestly, these edits are absolutely amazing so you have to go subscribe to him his youtube channel is in the pinned comment below but if you're subscribed to him also make sure you're subscribing to me because uh i like i really appreciate everyone who has been subscribing recently it means a lot and uh we're trying to get to 16k and uh i will be doing some more giveaways because i'm getting a whole extra package soon so who knows i might actually give away a nightmare cupcake plushie to my subscribers yes a real one not a fake one like the fake golden freddy so if you're subscribed you have a chance of winning a real nightmare cupcake cupcake plushie i'll show a photo of it on screen but uh, yeah let's get right into this video so starting off with the very first uh plushie that the advance has made is he made the step closer foxy from the fazbear frights book 4 now this uh like foxy plushie looks absolutely amazing all the edits on it are super cool so he took a twisted foxy plushie and he turned it into the creepy foxy uh in one of his hands you can see he has the eye and the arm because you know he says first you have to lose an eye then an arm and he he just looks really crazy he has blood all around his mouth and like just a creepy looking animatronic with a giant hook on his hand. This would be such an amazing plushie to see. I really wish uh, Funko would make actual Fazbear Frights plushies because I think they would work amazing as plushies. And I know so many people would absolutely love to see the Fazbear Frights books as plushies. Just all the characters are super cool. But this Step Closer Foxy, such a cool plushie. I feel like um, if they did make the series, he would be one of the common ones that you can find in any store. But he is just such a cool plushie. I know I would definitely want to collect him. All the plushies, like, all the edits that the Advance has, on, has made are absolutely amazing, and I would love to collect and buy all these plushies if they were actually real. Now, the next plushie after that is the Ghost Chica. I forgot the name of the actual story, but, you know, it's like this one girl who lives in a house and her sister died and she's a ghost, or and then, like, Chica comes and she takes the ghost girl. So, in this uh, image, we have Chica, except she has the ghost girl with her. Now, the Chica design was changed a lot, so it does look more like a duck, and even though it does look more like a duck, it looks better than Funko's original Chica design. And then it also has a little ghost, like, coming out of the mouth, because, you know, Chica comes and she takes the ghost. So, again, if this was a plushie, I feel like it would be a common one along with all of them, but this ghost Chica girl, such a cool idea. They really, the advance really did fix up the ghost Chica plushie, uh, just made Chica look a whole bunch better as a actual plushie because before she really did not look good as a plushie so seeing this ghost chica is such a cool plushie and i honestly am in love with this plushie just all the details and the way it looks a amazing plushie and it's just super cool so the next uh character we have after that is the leaf magic ballora now the ballora plushie that we already got it is a pretty disappointing plushie the uh, very like the arms are floppy the whole body looks bad it's all a whole bunch of printing so if Funko made this, they would get a chance to redo Ballora. So they could redo Ballora and make her a lot better, such as the advance made in this image. He made he made the Ballora plus she look so much better. And then she could also maybe have some wind spirals around her, or maybe some leaves attached to her, because that's what she does in the story. She twirls around, spinning leaves up into the air. Such a cool plushie. I would love this leaf Ballora. And again, I feel like this would be sort of a common plushie you could find at all the stores. But I know everyone, you know, they would want a brand new Ballora plushie since the other Ballora plushie that we have gone sadly doesn't look the best so this new and improved Ballora plushie I'm pretty sure her eyes are open too would just be such a nice step up from the original Ballora plushie that we have already gotten now the fourth plushie that uh, we could get is actually the bunny call plushie now this plushie I mean wowzers look how amazing this plushie looks this is such an amazing edit I absolutely love it probably one of my favorite edits that they made I mean I love all the edits that they made they're so amazing so this bunny call plush edit is one of the coolest plush edits ever so the bunny call it's uh i i, I forgot his name uh i know it, i don't remember the bunny call's name it was something sort of weird but i feel like this plushie would probably be a exclusive i could definitely imagine him being a exclusive to either target or gamestop but if he was a exclusive that would be such a cool idea even though he is you know the main character of the fifth book well kind of the main character he would again would be such a cool character to see his actual 
actual plushie. All the details on him. I feel like he would really work well as the actual plushie. And I feel like Funko could just remake the Theodore plushie to look like him. And overall, that would be an amazing, nice looking plushie. And I know I would definitely buy the one if Funko actually made it. Now the next plushie we have after that is we have the Into the Flesh Springtrap. So this Into the Flesh Springtrap, this is the, the one scene. It's, it's, uh, it's a weird scene. I, uh, this story is interesting uh yeah the story is really definitely a weird one but this plushie looks super cool and it definitely isn't weird unlike the story now it's basically spring trap except he sort of looks more like a plush trap chaser his eyes are smaller his teeth are bigger and he sort of has blood all over him but this new into the flesh spring trap is a very cool plushie i could still imagine him being sort of a common in all the stores but all the details on him and just the overall design of him i, th I feel like would work really well i don't think funko would print anything on this character just because you know they already basically have a spring trap they wouldn't have to change too many things about it so if they actually remade uh, just spring trap and made this plushie that would be one of the coolest things to see and i know i would really like to, that plushie and probably a lot of other people would too now the next plushie we have after that is the man in room like 128 and the ghost gator now the ghost gator you may, you may be thinking who this character is but this is actually the ghost child who keeps the man in room 20 128 alive he's like throughout the story so you have the man in room 28 and the ghost gator i feel like the ghost gator would sort of be attached to the man in the room 128 because i don't think he would work well enough to be his own plushie who knows they might sort of come in like maybe a cool casing or something like that because it's like sort of two plushies in one maybe they could be sold separately but it would definitely make the most sense if they were sold together so the man in room 128 definitely a simple plushie i feel like the coolest thing funko could do is if they actually hollow out his eyes and mouth so like there's just nothing there like you can actually stick your fingers in it's open it's not just a black spot that would be one of the coolest things they could actually do with the man in room 128 plushie now the second to last uh, character that we have is the cliffs freddy now this uh, book isn't actually out yet it was a sort of leaked cover book and the plush edit that the advanced made of this character is such a amazing looking edit i absolutely love it who wouldn't love this plushie to buy i know this would definitely be exclusive he would probably be exclusive to what maybe walmart hot topic but i mean just look at him i would want this plushie so badly it would probably be my second favorite plushie out of this whole series just because of how cool it looks all the details on him how he sort of just destroyed like that oh he is such a amazing plushie i really do love this plushie and the very final plushie that we have is definitely the fa my favorite edit they have made out of all these this is the gum drop angel now already looking at the gum at the gumdrop angel color cover you can probably tell why i really like this character one because i really like candy and two because my whole channel theme is pink and it, it's like a bright pink color like this gumdrop angel so it really does fit the style and theme of my youtube channel it is such a cool plushie i really love how they made it he looks so i mean she looks so cool as a plushie she would want she would I could definitely imagine her as a Hot Topic exclusive. She would just be such a cool plushie to get. Every single person would love the Gumdrop Angel plushie. It looks so cool. It would be the first sort of human character we would get as like a FNAF character, but not really just because it's sort of different like that. Uh, I really want Funko to make the Fazbear Frights uh, character so they could actually make the Gumdrop Angel because it is one of the coolest characters ever. And I absolutely love this character. And I really, really do hope Funko would make this Gumdrop Angel plushie as a real plushie because it looks so amazing but uh, yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification but please subscribe a whole bunch of you aren't subscribed so if you do subscribe uh don't forget you have a chance of winning a uh who knows nightmare cupcake plushie i'll probably give that away in my next unboxing video which should hopefully be soon i ordered a whole giant load of things for my unboxing video so yeah that's it for today's video and i will see you all later good